Hello again, and welcome back to Day of the Tentacle. Hello. <laughs> I'm here with Marit, and we are getting close to the end. Apparently we're 86% of the way in, according to the, uh, the in-game save screen. But we have a problem, which is that we still don't have a kite, and I have no idea how we're going to make one. I, like, I genuinely have no idea how we make a kite out of this. I know it involves the lab coat, that's all. Yeah. Um, so I guess we need to sort of walk around a bit and see what we can find. Mm-hmm. Is there... Anything in there? That's not a drawer we can open by the looks of it. Good God, man. <laughs> Give it a break. <laughs> Any wood anywhere? Um, I don't know. I would think let's... Well, we, I don't think there's anything we've still not looked around. That's the thing. So it's... Boom. Hmm. The design's solid, but I need some waterproof material. Oh. Like oh, cast iron or something. So he will make it. Well, that's the clue we need. Well, we got some waterproof material, so... We happen to do, so... Oh, that was a nice little drop-in of a clue that we desperately needed to avoid yeah. walking around. Nicely uh, scripted <laughs> there. Oops, no, that's Betsy Ross. <laughs> Poor lady, still Let's see if we can get a kite. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm! Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. Yay. Finally. We still need to get the battery into it, though. Yeah. But there's a pocket. Mm. Oh, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. What if we don't do anything? I don't know. I gotta give it a try. Nothing no. happens. <laughs> I just wanna troll him. Let's I'll just let's just not do anything. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! In the name of science, no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What part of the word now didn't you understand? <laughs> uh, the... Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. Marvelous! <laughs> I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> just to see what if we get another thing. Wow. You're good at annoying people. No. Definitely. Never gave Claptrap a high five either. No. You meanie. No! In the name of science, no! Oops. Just want to see if he says something different the second time or through. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you nah. push the kite. Okay, we tried. Yeah, so we need to uh, slip the battery into the pocket, I guess, yeah. and then push the kite. I think so. Whoops. No. What? What? Oops. Uh, I wanted to put the battery in. I didn't do anything. Uh, I guess I tried to move or something. Oh. All right. I say okay. now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Let's try this. Got it. Marvelous. All right, here we go. Um, battery. Battery with kite. No. And then we push the kite. No. We. He's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. He's too heavy. I can't control her. 
Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life. <laughs> Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now. No. So I can no. see the results. Wish me luck. Oh, it fell out. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Oh, dear. Gosh, thanks. Okay, fully charged battery. Yay. Chrono jump. Yeah. Still have so many items we haven't used for anything, though. We do. Well, what have we not used for anything at all? Soapy water, scrub. Yeah, we did. No, we used those. We washed oh, the oh, cart. Oh, you did? Oh, right. I forgot that now. I think we may have used just about everything. Okay. I just forget. Flush my one chance of getting oh, no, we need to put it in there. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Take Whoa. off. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the stand switch. right there. Great. But then how would he do that? <laughs> Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the Sledgeomatic. Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Oh. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same store. Didn't you see the fly? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> We're. We're. We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom the won't be there days terrible. like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Purple Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Purple Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge o matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. <laughs> Oops. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge o -Matic. to touch the sludge o -matic. Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. Mm. 
I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. Oh. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. I don't really want to look at the flabby what do tentacle. We do now? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay, the dust lost long. Hey. And I will do it again. Aha! Run for it! Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Hmm. Okay. Shh. Maybe he won't find us. You who? Where are you, human? I guess he's a little bit blind. Hmm. Okay. So what do we have? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Apparently. Ah. Uh, hmm. Well, that's problematic. Well, there must be something somewhere. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, Let's talk to him. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Bad idea. Take that. Mm. And this. Maybe we can hide in the Drat. candy machine. Hmm. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. So I wonder if there's uh, like some mouse hole or something somewhere. Wasn't there? But I can't remember. There wa where. Wasn't there one in this door? Oh. There's one in the basement, but that's full of tentacles. Hmm. So, hmm. Uh -oh. We've opened this door now. Oh, we're big now. Take that. So if we can go from one mouse hole down into the basement. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah. It looks as though there may be something we can do. What if we go in there? I just thought there was one in there. Yeah, yeah. there is. Yes. Get, get through the mouse hole. It might end us in the basement. So. Oh, oh, no, we're okay. in... Okay, so we're in there. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Can we pick up this bowling ball? It's way too high. Can we pick it off when that yeah. wears off? Aha. So we've got Chekhov's bowling ball. We now have... Um... Now we may need something else. Let's see. Hey, where'd he go? Uh oh. <laughs> what else have we got? Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Hmm. Hams. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all wrapped and safe and warm. Yeah. Today. Not for long. No. This is that we... Can we get in here? Hmm, this door appears to No, be okay. Mm, okay. So, we've got a bowling ball. Yeah. If we could get up on the roof, I guess we could drop it on someone, but we can't. Hmm. Unless... Chimney? You know what's in the lab, though? Yeah. Ten tentacles. That's true. We can bowl over ten tentacles, can we? Ah, uh, I think we can't not. Oh well, yes, we gotta try. We gotta try. try. Hmm, this door appears to Everything's be locked. locked. Yeah. Can we use the bell for anything? Oh, just, oh we probably should untie him, right? Maybe. <laughs> it might be a good idea. Yeah. Green, are you okay? Take my gig off! Huh? I think he'll be okay here for now. <laughs> really? We better not move him. Okay. Well, not much going on here. Filthy old car path. I don't know where the army went. They're probably around here. I guess they are conquering. Hmm. I guess they are. Should we drink some of that? Uh, should we? I don't know. 
That doesn't mm -hmm. seem like there's a way back from that. Maybe we're supposed to. Gross. No way. No, I think uh, Bernard objects. But if you plug the hole with a bowling ball now, that wouldn't work. No, I'm pretty sure we need to bowl tentacles. Mm, okay. That specifically that that ten tentacles. We haven't been. Oh no, that's locked. Sorry. So let's go into the basement. Yeah. Hello, tentacles. How are you doing? Excuse us. What is it? Could you let us pull that lever over there? No chance. Now, buzz off. Hmm. Well, that Excuse us. was difficult. What is it? Which one of you is the real purple tentacle? We all are, Dopey. Weren't you paying attention earlier? Now, buzz off. How are you, Dr. Fred? Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! Excuse us. What is it? Would you mind hopping out to get us some Chinese food? <laughs> nice try, but we're not budging. Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. The only three-headed monkey here is in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> mm, well, I think bowling ball. Yeah. We have to. <laughs> Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so small-minded. <laughs> Eek! Hamster machine. For what? I don't know. We're tiny. We are. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. My um. other selves are taking over the world as we speak. Dr. Fred! Are you all what right? Are supposed to do? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! Can we go over there? No. We... Oh, where? You can't well, stop me. Maybe we have to use the hamster generator for something. Okay, let's give it a try. It's accessible. My other cell. I think it's designed to run with something. More mm. like a small rodent. He needs to shoot us again, I think. Um, well, let's talk to him. <laughs> You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Center of the forehead. Like demonstration. Yeah. Look at the center of his forehead. <laughs> There's a little mirror there, isn't There's there? a little mirror there. Yeah. I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. Are you Does really he have a against future you? version of curious. Mm. Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the diminuator? I'll ask him in a second. Oh. Can you remember stuff that hasn't happened yet? Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Do we manage to defeat you and save the world? Of course not. Bummer. How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. Are you sure you're a future version of Purple Tentacle? I said I was, did I not? Do the sharks ever have a winning season? No, but the tentacles do. <laughs> Could you give us some stock tips? Don't invest in shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you more or less intelligent than the purple tentacle from our time? 
the same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes, you'll see what I mean. But humans also created the Sludge-O-Matic, which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. I was <laughs> for a paradox. Wow. It's like... It makes my heads hurt. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Come on. Hmm, <laughs> perhaps that would be entertaining. Mm -hmm. hey. Should we grab the gun or do we grab him or talk? Surely. Okay. Wait. You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. Okay, little fella, mail this to Siberia. Hey. Oh, would you look at that? Butterflies. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Another one. Oh, all right. Another Star Wars hmm. reference. It kind of. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs> and that's the end. Oh dear. That was Day of the Tentacle. Mm. So I'll check our completion time when we get to the end of the credits. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing that. How about you? Yeah. Do um, you remember? How much of that do you remember from your first playthrough? Um, I remember little bits here and there, but you know, like when we got stuck with the hamster and all that, I didn't remember what to do. Yeah. Completely forgotten. I had no idea about most of the puzzles and that sort of like 
the last couple of episodes. I guess I played the start a lot more than the end. Oh. Um, but I remember that. I definitely remember this ending. Okay. Plus, there's vacuum cleaners in the basement of every Why? home in America. Why in the basement? Because that's what the flyer said. And because it's, yeah. that's why that's where we needed a vacuum. Do we? Yeah, we needed one to get the hamster out of the... Yeah, we did in the game, but I mean... Well, the flyer was just like... A thing saying <laughs> everyone should have a vacuum cleaner from yeah. a vacuum cleaner cellar thing. Yeah, George said. Yeah. I'm sure there are a few other lasting um, changes that we probably made to history as well as the flag and the, uh, the constitution. Yeah, we, we What else did we around. do? Uh, yeah, maybe not. Well, we put a log inside that um, memory capsule. No, the log got burned in a fire. Oh, well, that's true, did, yeah. We put, we put wine in there, Sorry. but then we took it out again. <laughs> yeah. Well, we completely ruined everything. Yeah, we, uh, we chopped down a tree that doesn't exist yeah. anymore. Um... We, uh, uh, George Washington had chattering false teeth for the end part of his life, that, <laughs> where he previously didn't. Oh, Chuck Jones just got a, uh, just got a, a, a credit there, and, uh, and Steve Purcell, who did Sam and Max. Ah, LucasArts man. Old times. <laughs> There we go. And that is it. That is the end of Day of the Tentacle. Thanks for stopping with us for this series. If you watched it from the start, thank you so much. Um, I hope it was entertaining for you. It is quite a funny game. And Hello. we thought that it was a good thing to just, just replay it again and uh, and uh, uh, get our reactions on, uh, on Mike. Uh, so thank you. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you around on the channel. From me, Chris. And me, Marit. We bid you... <laughs> farewell we bid you farewell